Hey guys, Mike here from Create Your Own Freedom. And in this short video, we're gonna go over the law of attraction process eight, the wallet process. So let's get into it. Now, first off, this process is gonna provide you the most value when your current emotional set point is somewhere between the ranges of six, hopefulness, and 16, discouragement. And quick disclaimer, if you are unaware of the emotional set point or what they are, I do have a video linked in the description or in the top corner that you can click that will break it down for you. If you want a detailed breakdown of the emotional set point guidance system, I highly recommend you getting the book, Asking It Is Given by Jerry and Esther Hicks. That's where I got this from. This is where I use it from. This is where I learned it from. If you don't have access to that, there is an Amazon affiliate link below in the description. Feel free to pick it up. I highly recommend it. In fact, it's probably my most recommended book for law of attraction, success, happiness. It can change any aspect of your life. So highly recommend it. So besides your emotional set point, when would you use this process? First off, when you wanna attract more money in your experience, when you want to improve your current feeling about money and you want to attract more or create a bigger flow of it into your life. Three, when you wanna get your juices going about a specific desire. Or four, when you feel there's a, just a shortage of money in your life, you just want more money. So to begin this process, the first thing you need to do is get a $100 bill. I don't entirely recommend less, but I do recommend more if you can. First thing you wanna do, get a nice $100 bill. Got a nice crispy one from the bank. Always like to get the crispy ones. I always feel a little bit better. You just get that like, ooh, like kid feeling, you know? Then you're gonna take this $100 bill, you're gonna put it in your wallet. And you're just gonna keep your wallet or your purse, whatever you use to keep your money on you. Now, every time you touch your wallet, like every time I touch this wallet, I think, of that $100 being there. Think of how awesome it is to have it there. I feel the security of having it there. You know, feeling secure about the money. Key, remember, law of attraction isn't what you're just thinking or saying, it's how you feel when you're doing it. Now, as you move throughout your day, you know, you're, you're going to stores, you're just walking around, you need to take notice at all the things that you could purchase with $100 that's right in your wallet. So let's say, let's say you're at a department store and you pass a really nice set of clothes you like. You're like, oh wow, those are really, really nice. How much are they? And you see it's $70, you can be like, oh. Well, if I really wanted to right now, I could buy it with the money in my wallet or my purse. Or if, if you're driving by a nice restaurant, you just love the food there, maybe it's a little pricier. You could literally look at it like, oh, man, I could go get a nice dinner from there. Oh, that would be amazing. And I could do it with what's in my wallet right now. And it's fine. The key is to always remind yourself you could do it if you really wanted to. And you need to be always reminding yourself throughout the day that you could get this if you really wanted to. You could get that if you really wanted to. So what's going on in this process? How, how are you benefiting from not spending the money? It might not make sense, right? Well, here's the thing. If you get that $100 and you go out and you spend it right away, you only receive the security or the, the financial well-being feeling of that purchase once. But doing this process, you could literally spend that same $100 20 to 30 times in a day. Now, even though you didn't spend it, you're gonna receive the vibrational benefit of spending two to $3,000. Because when you were thinking, oh, I could get that if I really wanted to, you weren't offering resistance to it. There was no reason to resist because you weren't looking at those clothes like, oh man, if I had the money, I could do it. You have the money, it's right there. There's no reason to resist the urge when you're thinking about it. So when you're thinking of that item, you're not offering resistance and you're feeling abundant about the money. So that feeling is gonna bring more money. At the same time, there's no resistance. So why would it not come? The whole goal of the law of attraction is to be in a state that doesn't allow resistance, to always be in a state of allowing. And this game is going to give you not even just the ability, but it's gonna give you the reason to look at things throughout your day, to feel abundant, where you might not be feeling abundant as it is. The magic is noticing you can buy something and noticing you have 
the money already to do it. See, the key about abundance is you don't have to have abundance to attract it. You just need to feel abundant to attract it. Just like Earl Nightingale, the strangest secret ever. You'll get and receive what you think about most of the time. So if you're thinking about all these things that you could buy with your money, even though you only have the money once, and you're not spending it, you're still thinking about all these things you could buy without resistance. And that in itself is raising your vibration, raising your state of allowing, and raising your ability to receive money. Make sense? Now, when you start applying this process daily, you're gonna notice at a very fast rate, especially when you're actually in this state of security and financial well being, that these magical things are gonna start happening really fast. Your boss is gonna feel compelled to give you a raise, or you're gonna come across a new job that pays you more, or you're gonna get a rebate from something you already bought, or you're gonna get offered something extremely cheap, or something you really wanted is gonna have a sale, and your dollars are gonna go further on it. Like, who knows what it's gonna be? It's not up to us to decide. It's just up to us to expect. Now, as your cash flow grows or your cash flow, whatever you feel more comfortable calling it, feel free to increase the amount in your wallet. It's not gonna hurt you. It's gonna allow you to feel abundant about bigger things, which is gonna help to bring more inside. Now, let's say you're on your last $100 and you put that in your wallet. And when you go to the store, you're like, oh man, I've, I could buy that shirt if I really wanted to, but this is like, gonna be my rent money. Ugh. You can't be thinking like that. Whatever amount you're putting in your wallet, if you have to put less, you can. It's gonna limit what you can purchase, which is gonna limit the amount of time throughout the day you can spend it and the vibration. But if you don't feel good thinking about that and you're offering thoughts of resistance when you think that, like, oh man, I, I shouldn't spend that hundred on that though because I need it for this really. It's not gonna work. This process isn't working for you. Try a different one. You have to feel good. You have to feel secure. You have to feel abundant in your well being. You see, every desire you think, it's two parts. You are either thinking of the desire and having it, or you're thinking of the lack thereof. And most people, when they're thinking about money or trying to attract money, they're actually thinking about the lack of their money. This game, you never any point in it think about your lack of money so why would you lack money see it works very fast it works very powerful and it gets very fun when you do it i love doing it i highly recommend you guys do it now in the book asking it is given i want to read an excerpt out of it so let's manifest the book magic hey <laughs> yeah i know that was cheesy guys <laughs> but anyways 248 here so someone once said abraham you obviously haven't been in the physical realm lately. $400 won't go very far. And you might be thinking this yourself, which is why I want to read this. And he said, you missed the point. You spend $100 1,000 times a day, you spent the equivalent of $100,000 vibrationally. And that will bolster your feeling of prosperity, you see. It's the way you feel that's your point of attraction. Not if you're actually buying or not. The wallet process is just another means of giving deliberate attention to what makes you feel good. And it's putting deliberate attention to your thought about money and it's making you feel better about it at any amount. So if you guys enjoy this video, if you guys enjoy these processes, like this video, subscribe to the channel to get more of them. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified first when stuff like this comes out. Have an amazing day and happy attracting. And guys, again, you know my catchphrase. Love your life or change it, guys. Don't forget it. Peace. Hey guys, Mike here. And thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to even check it out. Subscribe below so you can join me. And together we can see the whole world. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below what you like the most and where I should go next. Hit those social media buttons. Go to createyourownfreedom.net so you can see more. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next country. I remember, guys. Love your life or change it.